I'm still fucking boss, it is a burden Everything I serve is like a burden Russian, Dutch, and German Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel Today I am doing a video on how to achieve natural waves or brush waves or 360 waves or whatever you call it in your hood I don't usually wear my hair like this I was in the club two weeks ago, keeping it cute and I saw this girl, she had 360 waves all over her head. It was so bomb. Another girl asked her in the bathroom, like, hey girl, you know, how'd you get your waves like that? And usually the bathroom drunk is supposed to be the best place for friends. However, sis did not want to spill the tea on how to get the waves. And I was looking too, so I mean, she left both of us hanging and I left there that night like, you know what? I am going to get 360 waves. So here we are. I tried it out two days ago for the first time as a test run when I went to get my hair cut. This is what I got. Okay, so to get started, my hair is dry right now and I did put some moisture in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it out to detangle so that there are no knots and it is smooth. But as you can see, my hair is definitely not trained for waves. So if I can do it, sis, you definitely can do it. After it's detangled, I'm gonna spray some water. You want it to be soaked, not damp, completely soaked. Now I'm gonna start brushing. I don't have any products in my hair yet. I'm just starting to wait a ways. This is my struggle area, is my crown. Now I'm gonna take some conditioner. And apply it like so. On the videos that I saw, a lot of the guys were using shampoo instead of conditioner, which is cute. I just figure, why not condition if I have the chance to do so? And I also just don't want shampoo sitting on my hair. So if you don't have any conditioner or you've seen a similar method and you want to try shampoo, go ahead, boo. So as you can see, we are starting to get a little bit of wavage going on. I'm going to go back in with some more water. Make sure she's wet again. And more conditioner. And brush. A lot of the OG super bouted waivers on YouTube suggest that I brush my hair for 10 minutes at a time in between each conditioner and water layer. And I could probably use the arm workout, but I ain't doing 10 minutes. I'm going to get time for that. I'm doing like three different layers, so that would be 30 minutes of brushing. Okay, I'm gonna go in one more again and brush. But as you can see, the waves are starting to form. Right, one more time with water and conditioner. Then we're gonna move to the next step. Girl, did you see when they see us on Netflix? Who you talk about emotion? No. I first started uh, watching it or trying to watch it on a Friday night and I was like, 
you know what, I'm not mentally prepared, it's the end of the week, and then decided to turn it back on on Saturday, and I was going to like, well, the plan was to watch it all day Saturday, binge watch it throughout the day Saturday. In 15 minutes, y'all, I kid you not, I was, I mean, I fell apart, unglued, emotional mess. I was a puddle of tears. 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all it took. And yeah, I was done. So I had to turn it off. I have not tried to watch it again. I'm going to try again this week. Now that I know what I'm getting into. I do already know the story of the Central Park Five, but I was reading up the special part about this particular reiteration of what happened from Ava DuVernay is that it's from the perspective of the boys that were in jail. So it is just, y'all, like I said, it's hard. It is a hard watch. I'm going to step off camera really quick and make sure this looks correct, like my crown area. In some of the videos, the dudes was using like compasses or um, just magic tricks to get their little angles right with the crown. I ain't got it like that yet, so I'm going to step in my vanity mirror in my bathroom, check it out, and I'll be right back. All right, so just like I thought there would be, there was a hard-ass line right in the middle of my head, but I went ahead and got that out. So as you can see, I'm almost in the wave game. Not quite. But we're getting there. Now, like I said, I went around my head four times with conditioner, water, and hella brushing. Now, while my hair is still soaked, I'm going to take one of my do-rags and excuse its raggediness. But I'm going to take one of my do-rags and tie it up. Oh, I just got my horoscope in, y'all. If you are a Scorpio like me, today's tidbit says choices are yours to make. Period. So I'm going to keep this on. Like I said, my hair is soaked with the conditioner and uh, water. And this is, my durag's pretty tight. So here's the key. This is a major key alert. I'm going to keep this on until my hair is almost dry like a damp because right now it's soaked and I'm going to place my hair under the faucet and rinse all of the water out of my hair and press the water out like so making sure that the do-rag stays nice and tight and then I will come back when my do-rag is soaking wet with a towel on although I don't know why you need to see that but I didn't get in the shower but I did get underneath the sink faucet, so. Now, the guy in the video that I keep referencing, he put a bobo cap on top of his do-rag before rinsing it out, which is the equivalent to like a stocking cap. I didn't do that, but I did find a stocking cap, so I'm gonna do it now while my hair dries for some added security. I'm gonna let this sit before I take the do-rag off. Now, in the next step, I'm going to use my regular moisturizer and some coconut oil and a brush that is a little bit softer than the first brush that I used to help train the waves. I'm also going to touch up my little edges because I can't help it. I am an edge fanatic. I'm going to do all that on camera, though. I will be back. Now for the reveal. I definitely tied this too tight, y'all. I have a headache, so it better come out cute. I have not taken this off before now. This is my first time, so let's hope for the best. Ow. Okay, don't get dizzy, don't get dizzy. Yes, wavy Yana. I told y'all I tied it too tight. But am I little disrespectful widow speak? Went back where it belongs. I'm feeling it. So obviously I can still use some work, like right here. 
could have been a little bit more flat, but we're going to fix that. To fix the area of improvements and to add moisture back into my hair, I'm going to take some moisturizer. Any moisturizer will do. I asked my barber when I was getting my hair cut, like, what is like the secret formula for waves? Like, do I need wave grease? Um, and he said that moisturizer will suffice. And then I asked one more barber after that just to be sure. And he confirmed a good moisturizer should do the job. Now I'm going to take some coconut oil. And add that. Like I said, I'm taking a brush that is softer than the first one as not to undo anything. And I'm gonna brush in the same angles that I created the first time. My hair is starting to come up a little bit because I have started brushing it again, but that's okay. I'm gonna dampen it just a little bit more and we're gonna retie it down, y'all. Short hair is definitely easier than long hair, y'all, but whoever said that it takes no work is a liar. This is taking me a total of about an hour and a half so far. I'm using a different do-rag for no reason other than to be extra. And it's like the 360 do-rag, so you know. All right, I'm going to keep this on and freshen up my makeup. And then when I'm done, I'll take it off, get my hairline together. And of course, we will be together when I do that. So I will see you in a few. Now, I'm not sure if these are sufficient enough to get me into like, you know, the 360 wave club, but these are cute for beginners or for someone like me who has never had waves and just wants to try it out, I think this is the video for you.